Hey everybody, Coach here. Thanks for joining me for this week's Plant of the Week. Hey, this week's plant is an old favorite of mine and a versatile and hardy shrub and small tree. I actually had five of these at Weed Patch Ranch and had a small harvest from them every single year. Hey, this week I want you to check out the pineapple guava, also known as Fajoa celloiana. These industrial strength plants are hardy down into the low 20s, even the high teens, but when you start getting into the teens, you know, it can really kind of adverse the flower production the following year. You know, they tolerate most soil conditions, uh, but the only thing they get kind of fussy with is, is if the soil gets a little alkaline high, then it starts to get fussy as far as fruit production. It'll actually drop fruit if the, the pH increases. Although there is some commercial production still in this day and age, especially down under. Was that a, that was a lousy, that was a lousy Australian or New Zealand accent. Uh, but I'm just coming off those, you know, you gotta forgive me. I just coming off of those Australian plant series that we just did. You know, my experience with pineapple guava is a, always been kind of a, a, a large landscape shrub a uh, container patio tree, like what you're seeing right here, or a multi-trunk small tree, almost along the lines of what a uh, crepe myrtle would be. You know, it's a, it's a different one for the crepe myrtle and it's evergreen. You know, they can reach about, uh, oh, if they're really happy, about 15 feet high, but usually around the 10 to 12 foot mark. But I found them to respond really well to nipping and tucking every year for shape and size control and you know kind of that multi-trunk look you know grows well in zones usda zones about eight through ten very popular very popular is the patio tree form of this which you're seeing right here and grow them in large containers or in the ground as a uh, mass planting of small patio trees really looks nice they are also grown as hedges and screens and backdrop plant. You know, with its gray-green foliage, it contrasts really, really well with uh, burgundy or dark colored foliages in front of it. You know, they have a, a kind of an interesting spring flower. Uh, it's kind of white and, white and red. You know, for fruit production, pollinator is strongly suggested. I can remember being in a rental for a period of time and had a monster out in the back lawn, which I don't suggest you plant them in lawns, but this one was healthy, but it was all by itself. It was one lone ombre and it never had any fruit on it. It had flower, never any fruit. Oh my God, if you have never tasted a ripe pineapple guava, you're really missing a treat. They have a wonderful, wonderful tropical flavor and are usually harvested by hand cut in half and the contents scooped out or squeezed into your mouth. I mean, that's how I used to eat them. Uh, they never made it to the kitchen. They just, I'd take them, twist them in half or bite them in half and just squeeze the contents in when they became ripe. And you can tell when they're ripe because they're not green anymore. They start to get almost a, uh, uh, a, a blackish purple or a greenish purple look to them. That's when you can tell that they start to, they, they're starting to ripen up. Wonderful, unique flavor. I can't say enough about them. Believe it or not, they do need some chilling hours in order to produce. You know, in my studies, what I used to know is they need a, a whopping 50 hours minimum of 45 or below. So down in the tropics, you know, if you're down in Mexico or, you know, in the equator area, they'll grow for you, but they don't produce much fruit as I understand it. So, hey, check out the pineapple guava the next time you may be in need of a, of a, privacy hedge, screen, patio tree, um, backdrop tree, and something that'll fit into your sustainable landscapes if you wanna try something different as far as fruit. Hey, this is Coach. I will catch you next week, guys. Thanks for joining me here on Plan of the Week. You take care.